The $10,000 bursaries by the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, awarded to 12 students from COSTAD, UWE and UTT, extends the efforts of digital transformation and digital equity in the country. Deputy Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Public Administration and Artificial Intelligence, Rhoda Patiram, said the ministry aims to strengthen the ICT workforce while supporting students with ambitions to pursue careers in the field. For the Ministry of Public Administration and Artificial Intelligence, it strengthens our local ICT workforce, fuels our capacity for innovation, reduces our reliance on imported expertise, and builds a sustainable talent pipeline to serve government industry and communities well into the future. Chief Executive Officer of the Telecommunications Authority of Trinidad and Tobago, Curley Prescott, added that the bursary program helps in leveraging technology without limitations to students such as financial constraints. One of the uh, benefits of this particular program is ensuring that we equip the, uh, the students um, that will be creating the workforce of tomorrow with the necessary ICT skills to leverage technologies such as artificial intelligence to use it productively and to get the best outcomes and of course use it ethically as well. Ensuring that there is equality within the ICT field and providing opportunities for all is also the aim of the bursary program. And it's important because I think once you have that, once, once technology and, and skills are available to everyone then you ensure that you get the best talent. You know, if it is you only, you favor a particular gender, you don't necessarily get the best talent evolving to fulfill the, the roles that we need to fill. So by ensuring that everyone has equal opportunity to, to learn, to be exposed, to grow, to create, to adapt, then we ensure that the best um, will um, be available for, for nation building. Now in its fifth year, the program awarded bursaries to four students from each of the three tertiary institutions covering two years of their studies. Faith Chariot, TTT News.